Hello, Too Clever Mafia here. Today I want to talk to you about children's toys. Recently I was having a conversation with my grandson, and one of many, and I said, Young Stuart, I think that was his name. And I just said, hey you, mostly, but I said, hey you, the holidays are coming around, and we celebrate Christmas at the Mafia household. And I said, young, well, I thought it was Stuart, what would you like? Is there something that interests you? Or do you like a top, a spinning top, a, a stick with a ring? And he said, Pappy, what do you mean a toy? We, we don't use toys. I Maybe a, a, a game card so I can buy more in my GTA or uh, uh, shark cards, they call it, I believe. And I said, you want a shark card? And this is what I've spoken about previously. It's money we spend to buy fake money to buy fake things in a fake game about stealing automobiles, basically. And so I said, no, I'm not going to buy you that. And I'm going to tell you a story. So I sat there and I said, back in my day, we had toys. Now, Granted, they were not as safe as the toys of today. Uh, there were a lot of uh, hazards, choking hazards, and eating crayons back in my day. But we didn't know, we didn't care. Crayons were toxic, we ate them when we were done drawing. It was nice because it turned your tongue blue or purple or green, but it was very unhealthy. And I said, back in my day, uh, we had, when you were put to bed at 5 p.m. after, after what we called uh, supper, the parental units would usually put on some sort of uh, pajamas and we didn't know but back then the pajamas were not even flame retardant which is something that's new occasionally we would go to school and there'd be children missing and it was a very small community and you would know if little Joey or little Susie was not in school and really what happened is you know a, a candle tipped over in the night and their pajamas were which were not flame retardant. Lit them up, and they were fine. And they usually um, back then the, the stop, drop, and roll was widely available. So, but we didn't have those toys. We didn't have those safety hazards. Uh, worrying about choking and labels on everything. And it's funny because there's toys that are uh, for four and up. You know, I was working around that age, but most four-year-olds aren't these days. It, the products are labeled joking hazard, four and up. May contain smallpox. Uh, all a little off topic, but I had a, there was a plastic bag my grandson had had. It was a, a Ziploc bag, or a baggie, a kitchen baggie. Sandwich bag, I believe they were called. No, no ziplock on top, but just just the, the old style where you folded the lid, you kind of inside out at the lid. Before they came up with ziplocks and slide locks and lock locks and all of that. But on the baggie, it, it really said may cause suffocation. The baggie was the size of maybe fit over my hand, but I'm thinking, what child with a head smaller than my hand? would be able to manipulate a plastic baggie, a sandwich bag, over their head. 
to a point where there's no parental units in the area and joke. I don't know. I'm sure there was some concern somewhere, but kind of getting off topic, just back in my day, we didn't have flame-retarded pajamas. Too clever. Signing off.